Hey everyone. So I've had a couple more questions recently on using reader cloths with the Cutie Frame and um, with the Cunique 19. And so I do it a little bit differently than um, some of the videos that I've seen posted on YouTube. And the reason is, is because I find that if I use the top leader cloth, the one that has the cording in it, and that would be this one, okay? And I haven't even really taken this out, so I haven't unwound it. But it has this huge, um, kind of bulky, when you unwind it, it's got this cording in it. It's pretty tight right here. And what I find is, although it's really nice to wrap or roll the quilt up with, it does add a little bit of extra bulk for me for underneath the machine. And that was not working at all when it came to working with my Juki on the cutie frame. Um, now it probably wouldn't be such a big deal because I'm using the Cunic 19, so I have a lot more throat space. But... Because I've kind of gotten used to doing it this other way, let me straighten this out a little bit. What I end up doing is, and I don't know if we can see this, I'm going to take a peek here. I have two little sections that I have left to quilt. Um, this, this is the top, actually this part right here is the top, in my world, the top of this quilt. And so I have this area right here, just this little like sashing area over here, and then I've got another one on the other end. And there is not enough fabric here to clamp it down on. So I end up taking my bottom leader cloth and I'll unfurl it, unroll it, and lay it out. And just like so. And where it says pin line, that actually gets pinned onto, as I try to get out of your way, onto the quilt, just like this. So let me do that real quick. And so I just pin them every few inches, just like this. Okay, keep going and I'll do that all the way to the end. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. And I just slide my hand under and, and again, I don't have a huge space to do this in. So I lay it across my bed and just pin it right there. I just make sure I don't pin it to my bed. And so we'll just kind of keep going this way. And then this will give me um, enough fabric to load this onto the cutie frame and have something to clamp down. Oops, I'm running into, I'm um, just on batting. And again, I want it to be pretty straight, but it doesn't have to be perfect because it's literally just to load for two little segments um, and just enough for, for the clamps to grab onto and go from there. So um, again, we've got it laid out on my bed. This is how I do a lot of this layout and see how things look. Kind of becomes also my design board. Um, but I will continue to pin this on and then we'll take it back to the frame and get those two little sections done here before we bring it back in here. Unpin this, flip the quilt around, and do the same thing on the bottom side of the quilt. So we start with just draping it over the top of the frame. And again, I'm using the bottom piece of, or what's considered the bottom piece of this leader cloth, cloth leader. And I'm just going to scooch it up in here, get it in between the needle and the needle plate. I'm going to keep going until I am in the right position. Here we go. I'm going to get it. There we go. Because I've got to slide. And be really careful because these pins will get you every time. But I need to do just this one little piece right here. And so I'm going to go probably right about here. And I'm going to set this up with one clamp to start off with, just to kind of hold it in place. Let's see where we're at. There we go. That ought to work. And we're gonna 
bring the machine down. Yes, we can do that. And yes, we can do that. So I want to make sure that I can go far enough this way. Oop. Little bungees get in the way. And you will run into that when you're getting things um, organized. The little bungees will, they're going to, you're going to have a love hate relationship with those little guys. Um, okay. So I want to make sure because I have to go this way. So I've got plenty of room. I'm not going to run into the edge down here. And so I'm going to get the rest of this all clamped on here. And sometimes what I'll do, because it's a little loose, you can see how loose that is. I will double my leader cloth up. And I think I'm going to in this particular case because it's just not wanting to hold it quite snug yet. So I'm going to double that up right there. Sometimes it'll hold just fine. Other times it's just a little fussy. That's okay. It's just enough to get us through that little teeny segment. And so now I'm gonna snug these guys up, get those on there. Get one more clamp I need to throw on, so I'm going to be in the way of the camera. So now I'm going to just clamp down. I'm not, in this case, because I'm only doing a small little area, I'm not actually using both of my long front clamps. I'm just going to use the one during, in this, kind of covers this area, and then my side ones. Now I need to clean my machine. Oh my goodness. Uh, but I will, as soon as I'm done with this. I'm gonna jog around back here. Now that I have my frame set up, it's a little snug for me. There we go. That one's going to pull off. There we go. And here we go. Now, in this case, because I'm right on the edge here, I am just getting started in the batting area of this quilt because that will be eventually trimmed and set up with a binding. And so for this pattern, this is just my up and down zigzag, but I need to make sure I'm going in the right direction. So I have to visualize it because it these change directions a little bit. And so we're just gonna... It's a little hard to see the motif that I'm act actually stitching here with the position of the camera, but I've got a real quick overview of exactly what I did from a different angle right after the end of this.